Hello, Youth Ministry Land. It is another exciting episode of Truth Bombs with the Saints for April 2nd, 2020. We are recording it, though, a day early because Frankie in her old age is getting smarter. I'm going to edit it and it's going to put, oh, it's going to be amazing. So that's what's so exciting about this one for me is we're actually trying to work ahead versus working behind. But today I'm joined by Abby Albrink, my oldest daughter and youth ministry uh volunteer extraordinaire wave abby uh, wave abby there she is um and she is doing school from home just like the rest of you guys are um and we today have tony the sanitation man sanitato some of you might remember him he went with us to steubenville last year again those seminarians have been kicked out of seminary they're not kicked out they were just told to go home <laughs> but um explain to the kids where you're living right now tony i'm over in the east side region so i am at, at saint margaret of cortona which is in a cluster with saint cecilia parishes and saint anthony's uh, i'm living with father jacob willig as well as another seminarian louis jackman currently nice so you have a busy house then it is yeah uh i think in many ways both the other guys are a lot quieter than uh than i am so they're getting adjusted to me <laughs> <laughs> the introverts in the extrovert. it's april fool's day so That's yeah right. <laughs> i'm trying to behave myself uh somewhat even with april's fool's day you know try to uh tease them a little bit but not too hard not too too much no sewing their underwear closed or anything okay no, not yet. Yeah, <laughs> Louis actually has, uh, I think he's more an extraordinaire when it comes to the needle doing a little stitching. Mm -hmm. So you never know. Watch out. Okay, <laughs> and Mr. Isaiah Callen, also a longtime youth ministry volunteer, has gone on mission trip. Isaiah, keep the door closed on the van and uh, Steubenville with us, <laughs> even, right? <laughs> yes. Yeah, you want to tell yeah. you want to tell the kids where you're living right now? Uh, I'm living with Father Jeff at IHM on Beachmont. Nice, nice. And we're joined again by Miss Sarah Meeker, volunteer, youth ministry volunteer extraordinaire, who uh, is finished with uh, teaching today. Are you finished today? I am. I don't feel like I'm ever finished these days because emails come in at two thirty in the morning. I'm like, would you all? go to bed <laughs> stop doing your math homework right? so like, get up like a normal person and do it during the day <laughs> no they don't do that because they're high school students but mm -hmm. it's great to have you all here yeah. and today the saint of the day is saint francis paula is I actually mm. looked it up how you pronounced it. I kept saying Paola the other day, and that's very Marcan, I understand. But Paola would be the way you would most likely say it in oh, Italy. No. It is a little Italian town that he uh, is from. So let's talk a little bit about St. Francis. Uh, Abby, you wanna go first? Something you found out about St. Francis <laughs> of Paola you did not know before that made you just <clears throat> go, wow, he's pretty cool. Well, I didn't know he existed, so that's one know. thing. And then, um, according to Wikipedia, I don't know if this is accurate or not, but there's this famous story where this um, boatman didn't let him cross this one strait, so he apparently just put his cloak on the water and then made a boat out of that, and he just sailed across, even though he was told he wasn't allowed to. So I just thought that was funny. Wow, I hope that is true. He can. <laughs> He's a miracle worker. I do know he performed miracles, so maybe that was just one of the many that he did. Okay, Isaiah, thoughts on uh, St. Francis? A uh, really cool saint. I didn't know he existed before this, so I did, I did a little read on him. Uh, yeah. Uh, I feel like when I'm reading the story, I'm like, oh, this is so cool. And then so it's like, you know, talk about it. I'm like, uh, uh, well, so I'll just go to the good part. 
So the, the, the one I like is, uh, the story I like about him is uh, he liked animals uh, and he, he, uh, he was looking for a sheep one day, couldn't find it, came across some uh, workmen eating some lamb and they had eaten the sheep. And then he just goes over to the, the kiln which they used to cook the sheep, like calls the name of the animal, which was... Uh, Martinello. Martinello. Yeah, Martinello. <laughs> and he's like, Martinello, come out! <laughs> the sheep just pops out of the kill, like, <laughs> you know, like, buying and all that stuff. So it was good. That was one of my favorite ones. <clears throat> nice, nice. I did not read these stories about him. I read different things. So Wikipedia kind of... is awesome because I read both of those. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I stayed away from Wikipedia for this name. one, but Sarah, what'd you like about St. Francis when you did Well, let's research. go with another miracle story. <laughs> so his, uh, his nephew apparently died oh, yeah, and yeah. his, um, he brought him back to life. Like, what's that about? He, <laughs> like, nephews, lambs, whatever, or just wake up, be alive. I don't know. <laughs> Powers I wish I had sometimes, or maybe not. Maybe not. Not sure. <laughs> mm -mm. Mm -mm. Yeah, so very interesting. <laughs> oh, nay, what'd you yeah. find out? I uh, saw that he was from uh, Italy's southern seacoast, and it sounds like he was, was a very contemplative man who lived in a cave. Uh, <laughs> Being by the seacoast, he would take strolls down there and he came across a uh, crab that lived in a shell. And so he actually was uh, the person who identified uh, the species of hermit crabs. So, yeah, uh, <laughs> uh, that's an April Fool's joke. Sorry. That, that didn't go too well. <laughs> He's not the founder of hermit crabs, although I think a hermit crab would be. And Just, Tony, that would be uh, cool. Loving time with them. He lived <laughs> you know as a saying? hermit, so it's yeah. That's right, 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 yeah. <laughs> April. Hopefully, Fools. they have hermit crabs in uh, on the Italian uh, sea coast there in southern Italy. So. So, good. so, so, but was there a true but, story yeah. you liked? Uh, I did. I, so I, I love the water, and he is the patron for sailors out mm -hmm. in the world. So yeah. if you ever find yourself on the water, pray to St. Francis of Paolo, or Paola, as Paolo. they say. Yes, as they Paola. would say in Italy. Um, so a little bit more about his life. He's actually named after St. Francis of Assisi. So for those of you who hear St. Francis, <clears throat> most of the time, most people think immediately of St. Francis of Assisi. So he, his parents named him after St. Francis of Assisi. Pretty cool. He too became a St. Francis. So I find that awesome. Um, he accepted poverty as the path to holiness. Wow, if all of us could do the same. Um, he lived as a hermit from the age of 15 years old. I wish more 15 year olds would live as hermit. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> depending on the team. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, you know, if you um, join a religious order, most religious orders take the um, vows of poverty, chastity, and obedience, but his religious order actually took a fourth vow. Does anyone know what the fourth vow was? Isaiah has his hand up. Isaiah, what was it? Uh, I believe it was fasting from meat on Fridays. No, I think it was fasting from meat all the time. Not okay. just on Fridays. I think it was all the time. Wow. But you're, that's awesome. You knew that. Um, <laughs> a miracle worker, he um, was contemplative. I know Tony said that before. And he wished only to be and I think we all need a little bit of humility in our lives. So he would be a great model of this. He wished to be the least in the household of God. The least in the household of God. So pretty, um, pretty fantastic saint. We've learned quite a bit. But on with the show, as they say. And I know you're eager to know what your questions are. Ha, 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 ha. I'm scared. So what'd you say? I always get nervous. I'm scared. You always get a little bit nervous? Okay, Sarah, how about you first? 
Make me go first. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> if he owned a restaurant, what would his restaurant be called? Mm. Mm. Hermit crap. No. <laughs> Anything but bread and vegetables. <laughs> uh, hmm. I always want to jump in there for you. Okay, and, Tony. Uh, uh, playing off of uh, Paula Dean, something with <laughs> Paula. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so you could run with it there if that even would somehow work. Oh, really? <laughs> but that just popped into my mind. One thing he does not have in common with Paula Dean is he didn't even eat butter. <laughs> that's crazy. Like he that's right, right. That's right. No that's animal so products whatsoever. So I, I'm. Is it vegan? What do you make with that? <laughs> that's why I think the restaurant question's so good. <laughs> Come on by, we got bread and water. <laughs> but no butter. <laughs> so any, any yeah, got a name know. for us, Sarah? Mm -mm. Francis is really boring restaurant. <laughs> like, seriously. <laughs> we have like three meals, right? <laughs> bread and water. Water and vegetables, and um, even some breads you can't fix without an oil. Nope. Oil mm. Of some sort, which would be so. Yeah. Yeah. This one went straight to heaven. I think. Yeah, he went straight. No wonder he was a miracle worker. Things we gotta work on, right? Okay, Isaiah, are you ready? <clears throat> Let's go. Okay. If Saint Francis had a private island. What would it be called? <clears throat> uh, I think it would have to be, uh, what was it, uh, like uh, Martinello's Haven or something? Martinello's Haven. <laughs> After the sheep. <laughs> ah. <laughs> what did you <laughs> resurrect? <laughs> You gotta look out for the little guy, you know? Well, besides the lamb and his nephew, there's also a story about a fish that apparently got cooked that he brought back to life. I think his name was Antonello. Yeah. Antonello. <laughs> it was Antonello the fish. Who knew? <laughs> or it'd be, it'd be pronounced uh, Antonello. Yeah. <laughs> We speak a little Italian. Okay, Mr. Tony, if they were a cooking utensil, what would they be? St. Francis, Francis, if he was a cooking utensil, what would he be? So I'm thinking like a, a hot pad. I mean, that's not even a cooking utensil per se. It just sits there to be contemplative or doesn't really do much and that's why i think of a hot pad because it it's seems just there like he would just be fine posting up in a cave for days on days and not really doing much but just yeah simply praying so i'd say a hot pad even though that probably wasn't i don't know if it follows no. exactly in that classification i think it totally works wouldn't you say contestants <laughs> totally sure totally I works think, absolutely like, uh, I, I mean We've done some weird answers, so I think hot pad works. At least you were in the kitchen, so we're good. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay, Abigail. Yes. <clears throat> if they could take one thing to a desert island, what would it be? Either that fish or that sheep, probably, because he cared about them a lot and brought them back to life. Probably the sheep. Fish wouldn't do real well in the desert. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's a desert it's island. A oh, okay. Well, there um, is some water then. Okay. There is. Okay. Water. Yeah. <laughs> you can swim away though. I'm still sticking with my hermit crab. You're still with your hermit crab, yeah. Fair. I like that a whole lot. <laughs> okay. Isaiah, if St. Francis traveled to our time, 
what would be his initial reaction? <laughs> Coronavirus aside, let's just pretend that's not <laughs> happening. <laughs> uh, that's the full question. That's like, there's not like an addendum to that. Mm -mm. Okay. Yeah. Oh, this has got him stumped. I always like when I stump Isaiah. Uh, He's maybe. deep in contemplation himself, I think. <laughs> what would his reaction be if he came to 2020? Um. I would say he would probably say something like, uh, in the spirit of his order's name, he would say something like, uh, you need to minimalize things. Because um, he's mm -hmm. from the order of minims, which meaning little minims. ones, so you need, to, you need to minimalize. Yes, he did. He The order was called the minims, which made, I read it first as the minions, of course. <laughs> <laughs> the order of the minions. Oh, no, that's not minions. That's minims. <laughs> Uh, yeah, and I think he might think it was super noisy here. Mm. I mean, we no, have yeah. a lot of noise. I think he'd, yeah, I think he'd say, take me to New Zealand, the land of the sheep. <laughs> I want to see, I want to see him. <laughs> running with the wolves, running with the sheep, just like in the flock. That's it. <laughs> Eating his grass on the hillside. <laughs> I mean, he, he did live, lead, uh, the, uh, the, when I was talking about the noise, he lived in the 1400s. So we're talking no trains, planes, automobiles, no technology. So probably no flushing toilets or anything like that. Yeah, yeah. Okay, well, so Sarah- There's probably about that. There were no flushing toilets. <laughs> oh yeah. Um, when I tell the kids that in Jesus's time, there were no flushing toilets, they all go, because <gasps> they're horrified by that. Okay, Sarah, for this question, you need a little bit of inspiration. Um, so I'm going to share my screen so you can see his lovely um, okay. pictures of him. Uh, here, oh here he is. Okay, here's here's good old Francis. Okay, three okay, renditions. The one on the right is creepy. The one on the right for you? Uh, the, no, the one in the middle. His eyes. Yeah. Well, he's contemplative, so he's always looking. Yeah. Anyway. So I think you need these images. My favorite is the one with him looking at the angels. That was supposedly a vision he had. And I just think his face is just serene. But it, your question is, if he was a cartoon character, who would he be? Ooh, a cartoon character? Uh-huh. See, the one in the middle automatically makes me think Jafar. <laughs> <laughs> No, that's <laughs> but yeah, he's not evil, so I don't know where you no. go. I don't mm. <laughs> Cause yeah, that one is just creepy. Yeah, uh, that's a little creepy. This um, this is a little creepy. Yeah. Cartoon character be. You know, I, this is not a cartoon character, but doesn't he look a little bit like a Dumbledore? <laughs> or he looks like yeah, Obi Wan Kenobi. What'd you say, Abs? What did you say, Abby? Obi Wan Kenobi. <laughs> He's not. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah but does, he does have that robes. Robe, yeah. For that. <laughs> yeah. But a cartoon character is yeah. what we're looking for. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Are there any a cartoon? Are there any cartoon characters that are, are old men, just in general? I mean. I never thought about it before, but there's not a lot of. I mean, oh. Elmer Fudd. What's um? Oh, the Little Mermaid. What is her dad? Triton. Mm -hmm. uh, He's got the beard. I kind of. That's what. Yeah, that's the only thing I can think image-wise that kind of looks like him. That's a cartoon. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
Little Mermaid's Ariel's dad, Triton. Yeah. 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 I mean, I, I think Triton um, in The Little Mermaid gets a bad shake because he told her no, but to me, that's the greatest parenting word of all time. <laughs> <laughs> Just saying. Okay. Uh, very good, Sarah. That was a hard one. Uh, Tony, Tony, he's yeah. our man. If St. Francis were a painting, now that you've seen three paintings, what would his painting be called? Hmm. You'll pick any of those three images a any, you know. and name one of them? Or? Yeah, just name, what would his painting be called? Old Man in the Sea is all I kept thinking. <laughs> yeah, that's actually a good one. Yeah, Old Man in the Sea as he'd stare out of his cave into the ocean. Uh, yeah, I like that, honestly. The old Man mm -hmm. in the Sea. We could also call it Where's My Food? <laughs> <laughs> Where's the good food? <laughs> Right. That would be funny. Mm. That one in the middle was, oh man, I miss butter. <laughs> I miss oh, butter. okay, okay, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I like, like that too, Sarah. <laughs> oh man, I miss butter and dairy, everything, right? Mmm, <laughs> that's insane. <laughs> yeah, I, I actually do agree. Um, okay, Abby, you may not say for this question, a lamb, a fish, or a hermit crab. <laughs> what animal does St. Francis look like? Um, I don't know. Are there any animals with like beards? There's like goats. Really goats. <laughs> a Scotty dog. Does that have a beard? Oh, Scotty dog. <laughs> yeah, kind of. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I like the billy goat idea. Those the billy goat. Um, what about funny? what about the monkeys? Some of them look like they have beards. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You're going with billy goat gruff. Yeah, or is that too close to a sheep? No, they're no, not I, the same. Okay. I allow it. I allow it. I, I like that <laughs> answer. I like that. <clears throat> okay, um, Isaiah. Now that you've seen images of Saint Francis. If you didn't know St. Francis, what would you think his name was? If I did, like, what, what would I have to go on? If Just what he mind. looks like in the pictures that we showed you. This would, um, I have to go with a... Uh, A Jedi. I mean, he's got the cloak, huge, you know, he's got the, the, the brown, the black, black for stealth, brown for day. Um, yep. So you would just come up to him and say, hello, Jedi master. Yeah, you know, when he came to our time, he'd be confused, but it would, you know. It would work. Cool. <laughs> yeah, he'd be great at Comic-Cons. He would be great at Comic Cons. He would hate them, <laughs> but he would be great there. Right. <laughs> okay. Sarah, yeah. if he lived in our time, what would his embarrassing old online username be? Mm. Sorry, it cut mm. out. What was that? What would it's his embarrassing if he, old online? Username, what would it have been? Oh, ooh. I mean, he started living as a hermit at 15, so, you know, can't be too right. embarrassing. <laughs> oh my gosh, I thought of one. <laughs> oh Lord. Um, save the lambs. Save the lambs. I don't know. <laughs> Save the lambs, too. Um, I was thinking um, not a CC. Because <laughs> he's named after St. Francis of Assisi. 
so his oh, old so username good. could be not a CC, not a 14, 1416, because that's the year he was born. Not a CC, 1416. That'd be kind of cool. That's funny. There you go. Yeah, I like that a whole, whole lot. Okay. I know it was my answer, but I, every once in a while I that's surprise okay. myself. Maybe today was one of those days, <laughs> <laughs> but only today. Okay, Tony, you get the last exciting question of the day. If St. Francis released an aftershave, what would it be called? Soft as wool. Soft as wool. <laughs> That's soft as wool. That would, be its that, would be that, that, would, that would maybe be its tagline in the commercial as he stroked his, you know, clean shaven face after he just took off that six inch beard. There you go. There you go. Soft as wool. I like that. Hey, Isaiah, I feel like you had an answer too. Look at your little face. Yeah, no, not really. I, I just like that one. That was good. That was solid. Soft as wool. Soft as soft wool. As, soft as yeah. wool. We could create a whole perfume uh, cologne <laughs> aftershave line after doing this for a while. We could come up with a whole bunch of stuff. Mm-hmm. 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 <laughs> Okay, oh, you know well, so you, go ahead. I was, I was thinking of Star Wars again, and you know, there's like little, like mini, those like dwarf people who you never see their faces who like run those. Jawas? Like the, the, the what? What you said? Jawa? With the eyes? Yeah, do Jawas. Yeah, the way that he's looking out of the second one would be like a Jawa. Uh, yeah, a little bit. <laughs> he is a Jawa. He's, he's the precursor to the Jawas. <laughs> yeah, yeah. A little, a little creepy and a little like, yeah. He's that's a little creepy. The OG, the OG, <laughs> the OG Jawa. <laughs> <laughs> when we get to the gates, of, when we get to the gates of heaven, and Saint Peter goes, um, you get to spend a few extra days in purgatory because of that truth bombs with the saints thing. It's all my fault. No. Oh, oh. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Okay, guys. Well, I really appreciate really appreciate you helping out and giving us some good laughs during this uh, this trying time. But you know, we're gonna get through it, right? Thank you for having us. Yep. Yeah, we will. Uh, we will get through it. Praise the Lord. Yeah, praise the Lord as always. Yep. With Saint Corona, have you heard Tony about Saint Corona? I have not. What, uh, yeah, what uh, brought about St. Corona? There is an actual St. Corona. Abby, you want to take it away? Um, she's an early martyr. She's patron saint of epidemics, which is, oh. and she was stretched to death. So they like tied her to like two palm trees that were put down oh, wow. and then they just let them go. And then they, it ripped oh, her in half. The patron saint of Don't know why. Wow. But she's the patron saint of epidemics, and her name is Corona. Isn't her, isn't her feast day like May 14th or something yeah. like that? Too? May 14th, like, I yeah. I feel like it's coming up too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And they just, um, yeah. there's a Germany cathedral. It was on the Catholic News Agency. There's this cathedral yeah. in Germany that they're cleaning up her relics. They actually had them in another part of the uh, uh, cathedral, and they kind of had unearth them and cleaning them up so they can put them on display which is pretty wild i think god hmm. has such a sense of humor either that or uh, maybe yeah. maybe saint corona has a sense of humor and she wanted to be remembered <laughs> <laughs> hey y'all have left me in the back here for a while and, and uh... I'm, <laughs> time for my relics to come out <laughs> that's true right Okay, thanks all for joining us. And until next time, be well, stay safe. Our next episode will be on a favorite saint of mine, which is Saint Isidore. For any of those of you who've Ooh. gone to the University of Dayton or intending to go to the University of Dayton, their tech system is named after Saint Isidore because he is the patron saint, one of the patron saints of computers and technology. So fun fact, he did not live when there were computers and technology. 
So that always makes it for an interesting story to talk about. So we will see you all soon. Bye now. You can all wave. Act like you're saying goodbye. Bye. 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 Goodbye. Goodbye now. <laughs> <laughs>